Welcome back to Reckliff Radio, where the champions elect face up to the Seasiders Whitby Town. Of course, last season, the Borough's final day resulted in misery, but with three games remaining, Radcliffe's day could come. And for the local managerial duo, they have the opportunity to leave a lasting impression on history by guiding Radcliffe to the National League for the first time in their 75-year history. Will Whitby be able to stall the inevitable or will Radcliffe wrap it up at the first time of asking? To run you through the action, as always, will be myself, Jacob Cross, and, as always, my illustrious counterpart, Anton Jones. So we await for this one to be taken on the left-hand side. And it is now towards Hume. Hume gets underneath it and then Wheatley. Wheatley will try and thread the ball forward, but it's headed away by Maynard, uncontested. And then the final touch, well, it's going to be kept in, in play. And Wheatley will retrieve the ball once again, about midway inside the Radcliffe half. Will thread the ball in field, looking for Hawkins. And now finds Grattan. Grattan, looking to turn. Plays it back to Hawkins on the edge of the box. Shoots and it's just wide. It's it taking a touch on the way through, whether it was a deflection or a touch from Hewell, it's unknown, but it's a, it's a corner to contend with in the opening few minutes. Anton to Shepard, back towards Wheatley, who sends it long looking for Thomas, but I think the wind's sort of taken that one, I think it's fair to say. Sergeant will only head it back to Whitby, and then Gell will shoot from range and it's just over. Good chance up from Whitby. They probably had the better of the chances in the opening. 12 minutes, haven't they? The second real shot in anger that we've seen this afternoon. Uh, Looking for yet another promotion, tro promotional trophy to add to the cabinet as it's a long throw sent towards Rowe. It does break in the penalty area for Grass and he shoots it just past the post. Spun on a sixpence and it looked like he was just going to try and find that bottom corner, but in the end, maybe just got a little bit too too much direction on the ball. Thornley almost set in set in this as the cent on, central centre back and here is Thomas bypasses the challenge of Fortley and then it's a shot that comes in and where's this where's the deflection going to fall just about scrambled away by a combination of Maynard and and you well, you've got to say that played himself into that yeah he certainly <laughs> did looked like it was going to be a comfortable claim for Hubel but in it, the end I said it before we went on there that it might be the, it would be worth just having a few pop shots some distance to test the bounce of the ball on this pitch about three quarters of the way inside the Whit uh, Whitby Town half sends it long Fawnley heads away will find Doherty with the clearance and then it's headed headed on by Beedon but it's straight into the arms of Hubel comfortable on that no real power behind the effort so you always felt it was in the favour of Hugh Alt to claim that From one that side, there's not enough pace on the cross really to generate much power it's just a matter of direction on it I said I said the first one's gone in the second one's now gone in as Matt Lock has taken the lead against Geisler here is Jackson on this right hand side looking to drive forward Wheatley on it hot on his case initially and then it breaks for Hume just outside the penalty area delivers the ball in towards the overhead kick and it comes off Beedon and the first real chance of Radcliffe for Radcliffe results in the first corner kick for Radcliffe but a glorious chance that for Dudley who had his back to goal and adjusted so well to get the shot away manoeuvred his body to attempt the bicycle kick it was heading in so it's an important block Adams with a corner then can he get the delivery right sends the ball in where's it going to bounce it might bounce for Radcliffe for Thompson yes! and it's in the back it's the Thompson. super sub it's Jake Thompson who breaks the Whitby Town hearts early on and they do take an early lead Radcliffe maybe slightly undeserved but it is Jake Thompson on the score sheet and Radcliffe do lead here in the opening 26 minutes Definitely gets the run of play, but Jake Thompson in the right place there. In the middle of the goal, his left foot hits it in, off that post, and into that top right hand corner to give Rockliffe a 1 0 lead. He sends the fans absolutely berserk on that far side. Just Maynard, yeah. Maynard and here come Whitby from a. From a. Let's go! We've got to say it's a fantastic finish by Lewis Hawkins, isn't it? In the penalty yeah, area. Great the ball strike. broke beautifully for him and he struck it through a crowd of bodies and Whitby have equalised you've got to say it's deserved it deserve a goal to be in the be probably in the better side out of the two yeah it's a fantastic finish you've got to say he struck right it so it. true and st struck it so well so Smith does well to read it to read the situation and now it breaks for Hawkins who delivers the ball Thomas along towards again. Thomas once again the former football league man puts his arm in the air to appreciate its efforts and endeavours but before Hugh Elk claims 
before bowling out to Thornley. Thornley long towards Hume. He tied his own. 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 He tied what a goal that is, and told it straight away, I'm still looking at it. Jordan turned his one, you could see him time it perfectly. As, as the ball came over the top and he's, he let the ball bounce, and that <laughs> and caught it perfectly on the half volley, leaving Shane Bland no chance as he died to his right and couldn't stop it. And put Rackers back in front so at the 39th boy. minute. Delicious, that absolutely delicious. Caught it so sweetly on the half volley. Anyway, did he defender was touched out and was able to get, just get the block in. And the throw is quickly taken by Jackson to Thornley. Thornley to Hume, who tries to back heel it back towards Jackson. But Whitby playing the ball through Wheatley. Now Adams, Adams delivers the ball to, uh, towards that right-hand channel. Brad Jackson got the license of this right-hand side, going towards the byline, will deliver the ball in. It's gonna find, gonna find Jude Ayibo just inside the penalty area, but he eventually goes towards the byline, delivers the ball in. It's a good ball oh. in, where's it gonna bounce? It's towards Hume, who's just gonna try and screw across the line, but he, he's unable to. <laughs> just couldn't get any meaningful power behind the, the effort, and it's a, in the end, it's Shane Bland who dives onto the ball, and spares his side's blushes. Yeah, it's hard for him to execute that off the floor. He's tried to back heel it somehow, um, or flick it round the corner, but was unable to, as you say, generate the power. Whilst Very the much floor. a striker's instinct, wasn't it, Dan? Yeah, just, you, you know where the goal is, just try and do, do what whatever you can. you can to turn it goal, goal bound. We're trying well, to deliver the ball in. He's in centrally now, clips the ball in. Good ball. And it's headed away by Rick Smith. Who makes his return from injury today? Counter attacks on if we Here come Radcliffe now this. on the counter charge oh. with Navarro up against Horwells. He'll clip the ball forward into that channel and then Navarro is is called and then oh. Navarro is going to be given his he's marching gonna, he's orders. Gonna be set off for that, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He saw you saw, you his, suspect, head, you saw anyway. his head go forward, so yeah. I think he is in trouble. Like I said, we could. Um, you can justify it. Should should be red. He's back pocket there. Yeah, it's red. Back pocket. That's red. <laughs> It's instant. <laughs> we, are, we, we, we knew straight away. And Navarro has given his marching orders. It's so, a moment of madness for the little magician. How so, is it going to be a free kick for Rack? Yeah, it's going to be a Rack free, free, anyway. free kick. Man of the match should be, but I think there's been a, a number of great performances, hasn't there? You could pick out anyone, really. <laughs> John, you standing by offside there as you got fired that one long. Main had to go. He's got an elbow in the face there. They're not happy about that one. He did get, he did, it looked like a straight elbow from Gal. And the Rackley players are not happy. The Whitby players are trying to usher Gal away, so the referee's going to have um, a lot to package out on this one. Well, I suspect that we're going to be even up here, and I think we're going to both be down to uh, both down to ten. Maynard was ready to go up for it, so. Well, just listen to that, just behind us. That that's that's a positive to sh shine, up, shine on the yeah, situation. The did he send him off then? I saw a cat. Yeah, he has. He sent Gal off. Gal's yeah. gone. He did show, show him the red card. I, saw, I, I, I briefly saw the red, saw a red, red card for a moment, so I didn't yeah. really see. Well, see it's been fully feisty between it. those two throughout the game, hasn't it? It's. I thought that was the whistle in there to indicate that we're fully out, but but we're still awake for this to be full taken. Time. That's a full-time whistle. Is it? Radcliffe <laughs> have done it. It's seen done at the first time of Raskin. Radcliffe have won the Northern Premier League. The fans have made it onto the pitch. Be careful of that video.